वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन डैश ट्वेंटी वन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज स्ट्रेस एंड द बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज द फोर स्टील क्लैम एक्सर्ट अ फोर्स ऑफ नाइन हंड्रेड न्यूटन ऑन द वुड ब्लॉक वुड एंड ब्लॉक डिटरमाइन रिजल्ट इंटरनल लोडिंग एक्टिंग ऑन सेक्शन ए ए पासिंग थ्रू पॉइंट ए सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ फोर स्टील क्लैम एंड दैट एक्सर्ट नाइन हंड्रेड pounds on this wooden block this is wooden block you have to find the resultant internal loading at section a a passing through point a so it means at point a you have to find the normal force shear force and moment so let's start with the solution so first step is that when you cut this clamp at section a a and draw the free body diagram so first of all i will draw the free body diagram so let this is the clamp portion so here you can see you have like this curve form so let draw it like this okay this is section a a clear this is section a a and this section a a makes angle of 30 degree with this horizontal this is your point a clear now when you cut it so you will be having a normal force acting on this surface which is equal to n a a clear you will be having a shear force on this face which will be equal to v c v a a and you will be having a moment which will be m a a now you can see that this clamp exert force of 900 newton on this wooden block as a result the wooden block will exert 900 newton force in upward direction on this clamp also the distance between this point a and this application of this force is 200 mm so this distance is 200 mm now we will take this x axis this will be as x dash axis and this will be y dash axis because you are this normal force and shear force exert along this axis so we will find the internal loading by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x dash direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see this is the 9 newton for 900 newton force that act perpendicular to this surface so if i draw if i extend this line if i draw a line that is at 30 degree with the horizontal and this 900 will have two component one is this component which is equal to uh, we will talk and the second one is this component clear so what will be this angle this angle so you can see this is 30 this will be 60 degree so this will be also 30 degree so this component will be equal to 900 into cos of 30 degree and this component will be 900 into sin of 30 degree so we will apply equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is sum of all forces along x, di x direction must be equal to zero so one force along x dash direction is this one which is v a a dash and this is toward positive we have taken this direction is positive this direction so this will be negative and the second force is this one which is 900 into sin of 30 so the sum must be equal to zero so i will write minus v a a plus 900 into sin of 30 will be equal to zero so from here you will get v a a which is the shear force and this will be equal to 450 Newton. Now we will find 
this NAA and we will use the equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y dash direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive. So you can see this force NAA is in positive direction, clear? And this vertical, this component is in negative direction as per our understanding or uh, assumed direction. So there is sum must be equal to zero. So I will write NAA minus 900 into cos of 30 degree is equal to zero. So from here, NAA will be equal to 900 into cos of 30 degree and that will be equal to 779 Newton. So you have NAA as well. We will find this moment MAA. So we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A, A1 moment is MA which is clockwise so it will be negative. The second moment about point A will be this load 900 into perpendicular distance is 200 millimeter and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive. So I will write minus MAA plus 900 into 200 millimeter and 200 millimeter in meter is 0 0.2 meter. So from here you will get MAA will be equal to 900 into 0 0.2 which is equal to 180, 180 and new, new unit will be Newton into meter. So all these are the internal loading at point A and that is the answer of our this question and that was all about this problem 1-21. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Also leave your comment about this video. Thank you very much.